Hello, it's Rikers. In today's video we are going to look on my raid build because it's a long time ago when I made a raid video. So it's outdated and now it's time to make a new one which is up to date. Let's start with theory and then you will see the numbers on the training dummy and then how it works in real raid with my warband mates. So first of all let's start with skills. So I am using the judgment, holy banner, condemn, draw and quarter and my primary attack is second fire. As a paragon I am using the paragon slinger and it's these five skills because they are very strong and increase your damage very well. If you want to really maximize your damage then don't forget to go to warband, then to room management and then to choose your role here in armory. Usually I am using the protector, even for raids I am using the protector because my damage output is enough, but if you really want to maximize it at its full potential, then you can choose the attacker, which increase your damage by 3.5%. And if you, we look on remnant bonuses, then there is it increase your damage deal by 1% for 2 seconds every time you deal damage. This effect stacks up to 10 times and is removed when you take damage. The, the others are increases critical hit chance by 3% while above 70% of your total life and increases critical hit damage by 10% while your critical hit chance is greater than 70%. So you can choose the attacker in Warband for maximizing your damage. Now let's look on my legendary games. My legendary game setup is not the most optimal because my credit card is not <laughs> unlimited. So I had to make some compromise, especially my Hellfire Fragment and Hover Skull. I have these games for cheap rezo, but the effect from the game from these games is not good. So if you have Battle Hope or even two star legendary game Paint Clasp on high level like level 10, it would it's much better to use it there. It's increase your damage much more because keep in mind that pure resonance is not the best damage dealer. The effect from games is much better for PvE. And now let's start with my Gloom Cask. Gloom Cask is strong game for increasing your primary attack damage and the blades deal good amount of damage too. Then my Phoenix Ashes. Phoenix Ashes, I like this game for PvP. For PvE I have auxiliary game him here Battle Hope. Then my Hellfire Fragment. I don't have any auxiliary game here because on level 10 the damage from Hellfire Fragment is not so bad. Then my Maw of the Deep. Maw of the Deep has very good the second attribute for raid. The sea monster also destroys enemy armor for 6 seconds, increasing the damage take they take from you by 18%. And 18% is quite a lot. Void Spark is in general good game which increase your attack speed and the damage is good from Void Spark. Blood Soul Jade is one of the best games in the game, so it's a no-brainer. Then my Hour Skull, and as you can see here I am using the auxiliary game Roiling Consequence, which increase my critical hit chance. And the last one is Starfire Shard, and Starfire Shard has F some burst damage and in my opinion it's the best PvP game in the game. But if you have high level, ideally level 10 paint class and some of these trash games like Hour Skull 
or Hellfire Fragment Phoenix Ashes for PvE, then use for Raid Spain Clasp here because your damage will be much higher than from the resonance bonuses from these games. Let's look on my refugees. And they are here. I am not focusing on family bonuses, but I am focusing on single, single attributes. So most important for me is attack speed, beneficial effect duration, critical hit damage, all skill damage and primary attack damage. These are my attributes. I am not saying that these attributes are the absolutely best in every case, but for me it's the most universal and it works quite well. So these are my refugees. Let's move to my set pieces and as you know I am the primary attack lover for Crusader, <laughs> but for raids I did exception, so I don't use shell bath set here. But I have four piece Angmet because it works great here and it increases du the duration of my Ignite status by 30% and there's another chance for another damage. Then I have two piece Vitus because it's increased the duration of my beneficial, beneficial effects which is always beneficial. <laughs> and. Then I have two piece Baron because it's increased the duration of my harmful effects by 30%. And from my testing, what I did, this combination of set of sets is the most optimal. Let's quickly look on my legendary gear. My helm is around ignition because your holy banner now mounts a standard of flames to your back that bolsters the primary attacks of all nearby allies to burn enemies. So it's great service of your damage. Then my chest is Akarat's rebuke. My shoulders are upturned gaze, which is great source of damage too. My pants are the light striders and here I have to show this because your course properties which is complementary with my light striders so I am using six piece vexed because when your summons enter the battlefield you let out a roar dealing 130% of your damage to nearby enemies and additionally the roar drives your summons into a furious rage increasing their movement and attack speed by 24% for 6 seconds, which is great boost for Light Striders, Summons. Then my main hand is Horn Splitter. My second main hand is the Bristol. And my off hands are the Torrential Refrain. Torrential Refrain here is great because Condemn immediately triggers all continual damage on the targets it hits causing them to take the remaining damage instantly. So it's great effect. And my second main hand is Resplendent Main and it's increase your attack speed for your Sacred Fire because Sacred Fire also increases your primary attack speed by 10% for 2 seconds, stacking up to a maximum of 3 times so you can increase your Sacred Fire primary attack speed by 30% which is great. So it's my legendary gear and now let's move to the training dummy DPS test. Let's start our DPS test for 10 seconds and look at the damage. At one point it reached 10 million per second and look at it in 10 seconds 59.3 and damage per second it average 5.9 million so almost 6 million and 60 million and the damage from my second fire 20 million from condemn seven and a half from banner 12 million and here from games 
So, great damage output. Let's look on real combat with my Warband mate. Let's defeat this boss and look at look at it. The boss is almost immediately in his immune phase because it's how high our damage output is. And again, was losing his HP <laughs> immediately. Now he is in this stage. So let's kill the mobs. Here we go. Here is animation. Let's skip it and let's finish the boss. And I should be able to earn chest of glory. Yeah, boss is dead. And chest of glory is here. Oh, and look at that! Look at that! We <laughs> we have additional bonus bosses. So let's kill them too. I have to grab my items first and. Let's let's kill them. Let's kill them fast. And you can see how high the damage output is. My mate has really high damage output too, so everything's dying almost immediately. And it's always pleasure to do raids like that. Thank you guys for watching and see ya next time.